Good morning, everybody. Thank you. It brings me such joy, gratitude, pleasure to welcome you to the um, rededication of Ellis Gardens. And I hope you will join me in welcoming to the podium our mayor, we London Braid. <laughs> Thank you. Don, I thought you were just going to at least go into the project and talk a little bit about it, but um, fine, I'll get started. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. I'm, I'm really excited about this project because um, this is really the city and county of San Francisco working hard uh, to fulfill a promise, a promise to so many people who live throughout San Francisco in public housing in conditions that no one should have to live in. Uh, and a few years back, when I first started as a member of the Board of Supervisors, I met with then Mayor Edley and talked to him about my priorities. I made it clear at that time that my number one, two, and third priority as supervisor was public housing in San Francisco as a whole and not just my district. Mayor Lee supported the fact that we needed to do something different because the kinds of conditions that had existed for so many years and the amount of money that we received, there was no way we were gonna get to a better place. For over 20 years of my life in Plaza East on Eddie and Laguna, before they were what they are now, I lived in those conditions. And the neglect, uh, the bathrooms that didn't work, the mold, the just, uh, the conditions that you, live in when you've had to live that way for over 20 years is something that you never forget. And so this is why nothing is more important to me than changing the kinds of conditions that people live in. Here with 94 units of housing for people who are part of our very vulnerable community, our seniors, people living with disabilities, people who have challenges not only physically sometimes, but also uh, many of our low income residents. They deserve the kind of place that exists here today. They deserve to live in conditions where when they flush the toilet, it will actually work. Where they have showers and just some of the most basic things that some people take for granted. That they have pest control so that they don't have to deal with the kinds of conditions that have existed in this city in some places around public housing for far too long. When we brought in the RAD program, there were so many people who were clearly skeptical. They were worried about displacement. They were worried about what happened in this city in the past because there were some mistakes made in the past. And I continue to go back to my own personal experience of living in public housing 300 units that were torn down and only 200 units built. So yes, a lot of people that I grew up with didn't come back, or they weren't even given the opportunity to come back. And so that's why it is so important that we have partners and we work with each resident individually to help them understand that this is about them and to make the move and the transition while we're renovating these places as smooth as possible, that we make sure that we're able to gain their trust and their support. And so in this city, we have demonstrated through this program that we can be trusted to do the kinds of rehabilitation work that is so desperately needed to make sure that people are living in great conditions, people are living in the kinds of conditions that they deserve. And so I just wanna thank Glide and TNDC for being our partners in this effort, uh, for doing this work with compassion. Uh, this place, um, I, I don't know if any of you have been in here before, what we see now, but I am, I am honestly overwhelmed by the walls and the floors and just everything that I see right now here today. Um, and it is so amazing, and we know that San Francisco continues to have so many challenges. And yes, we have to build more housing, because we know even outside these doors, sadly, there are people who are struggling with homelessness. But we also have to make sure that we are taking care of the people who 
deserve a safe, affordable place to call home. And so preservation of existing affordable housing, building new affordable housing in this city, that is what we have to do to make San Francisco a better place for each and every one of us. And I am so grateful to be here, so proud of the work of this project. And I wanna thank all of the people from the project managers, to the folks who worked on it, the financing. I mean, it does take a village and it is really expensive to build and to do construction and rehabilitation work in San Francisco, but we got it done. And so I appreciate so much everyone who's here today um, and I'm so happy for the residents who are here today as well. Uh, congratulations on this new incredible property. Um, and again, thank you, Don, for just all the work you continue to do. This is not our first project um, that we've done together and it definitely won't be our last. Thank you. I, I know I speak for a lot of people when I say we're grateful for your leadership, Mayor. Please join me in welcoming Luis Castillo. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Luis Castillo. I'm the president of Ellis Garden Senate Council. First of uh, all, I want to thank Mayor London Breed, TNDC, and Glide Community Housing for making it happen and providing housing for my, making it, I mean, providing housing for the nice group of tenants. I came to San Francisco in 1962 when I was 12 years old from El Salvador, and I've been here ever since. Uh, most of my life, I live in the Mission District before losing my housing. But thankfully, there was room for me at Ellis Gardens in 2012. And uh, ever since I'm, I'm moving to Ellis Gardens, I've become involved in the community, such as volunteering at Glai and the Boys and Girls Club. Volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club has been a positive and happy experience in my life. I love that Ellis Gardens is across the street from Bodeke Park and Ellis Garden feel like an extension of the park now that the renovations are complete. And uh, it's now the time to enjoy Ellis Gardens, have respect for one another, and improve our community. On behalf of the residents, we are here appreciative for the renovation of the support of everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Please welcome Supervisor Matt Haney. Um, thank you, Don. Um, thank you, Mayor Breed. Um, I, I want to give a, a special recognition to Luis because Luis isn't just the head of the Tenant Council here. He's one of the greatest uh, community leaders that we have here in the Tenderloin. He's always showing up for people all over the neighborhood. And it's people like you that make this neighborhood such a wonderful place to live. So if we can give him a round of applause again. Um, you know, I've, I've been friends with Luis for a few years, and, and last year he invited me to come and visit the building. And when I walked in this morning, I had to do a double take to make sure I was in the right building because it looks so different than it did just a year ago. Um, the beauty of the lobby, this whole area back here, um, the units, I got to go upstairs and visit on the 10th floor in Bridget's unit, and this building is gorgeous. And this is exactly what this pe people in this community deserve. Uh, this is what people in, in the Tenderloin uh, need um, in terms of open space, in terms of green space. Um, finally living up to the name of this building, Ellis Gardens. Um, this is a beautiful building um, for a neighborhood that is truly experiencing a renaissance of affordable housing building, um, renovation um, for a community that I think is on the move in a very positive way. Um, I had a couple friends who, who visited the city recently and they told me they're worried about the Tenderloin. And I said, well, well, what are you worried about? And they said, well, I was walking around and I saw a lot of gentrification in the Tenderloin. And I said, well, yeah, gentrification is, is a serious issue in the Tenderloin. 
Where, what are you talking about? And so well, I walked along Taylor and I walked around Eddie and I saw these buildings, these condo buildings that are popping up and, and I'm worried that, these, the, that we're building condos and not building affordable housing. I said, you're talking about the building on Taylor and the one on the corner, Eddie and Taylor? Those aren't condo buildings, those are affordable housing buildings. And yes, they're beautiful. And yes, yes, they represent exactly what people in this community need and deserve. And so people are gonna walk by this building and they're gonna say, wow, you know, I wish I, I could live there. And that's, that's, that's what we want for everyone who lives in our city and for the residents. Um, I'm so happy. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate this with you. Thank you for going through this process, and I'm sure there was some level of disruption. Um, and, and, and also, thank you to Glide. Thank you to TNDC. Thank you to Bank of America. Thank you to all of the project managers. Um, I live one block from here, um, right on uh, Hyde, and uh, two blocks right on Hyde and Ellis. Um, so this is my neighborhood. I walk by here every day. And I'm just so happy for the residents for, and for this entire community um, that this building has been renovated and modernized and expanded in the way that it has. So thank you. Thanks so much, Matt. Please welcome the executive director of our partner, Glide Community Housing, Pamela Holman. Good morning, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here today. Glide Community Housing is very honored to be in partnership with TNDC. Thank you, Mayor London Bree, for being here. Supervisor Matt Haney. Again, welcome, everyone. Um, we are so proud of the building we're being presented to you today, the new Ellis Gardens. This project has been a labor of love. Um, I'd like to just pause and highlight the development team for a minute. Thank you so much for your level of excellence devoted to this project. Ellis Garden reflects a strong commitment of collaboration and the development team certainly went above and beyond to make this a beautiful project. Um, as you tour the building today, you will see that their efforts truly exceed the baseline for the project. Um, the structure here is sound and we're providing units of quality housing for years to come. As the service provider, Glide Community Housing believes communities like Ellis Gardens are built on the unique strengths and talents of the members within the community. We are here to provide supportive services through effective case management. Our goal is to ensure housing stability for the entire population of not only this building, but other buildings in our community. Our service team develops programming that offers an array of multidimensional services and activities that provide this community with an opportunity to travel new pathways to health, autonomy, and growth. We believe that housing is the essential first step in supporting individuals to reduce barriers and thus breaking the cycles of chronic homelessness. In closing, I wanna thank a few people in the room today. I really wanna thank our staff. Glide Community Housing Supportive Services staff has gone the extra mile. Um, it was our first time delivering services in an active construction site. That was no easy feat. Um, not only did you take care of yourselves, you continue to deliver quality services and make sure that the folks that were here were taken care of. Bank of America, we appreciate you, we thank you. We were able to, live, to deliver welcome home kits to every one of the units, every individual that received a new apartment here got a kit that was full of basic household needs, dishes, tiles, um, bathroom supplies to help them settle into the community. Um, Gabe, thank you. Your leadership on the development team, exceptional. Um, you really went the extra mile to make sure that this building had quality, efficient amenities, and we thank you for your leadership. DNH Construction, exceptional work. San Francisco Arts Commission, uh, we applied for the Community Challenge Grant. We were able to partner with Presida Eyes. There's a beautiful mural on the east wall of the building that's reflective of the Tenderloin, people of color, past, present, and future. Very proud of the mural. Um, our partners 
uh, with HSH. Thank you. You allow us to do our work uh, through supportive services. This community means a lot to, uh, to us. There is a tremendous amount of gratitude being uh, a lot of thank yous from the residents coming into services every day. Very appreciative of what we've done here uh, as a team. So thank you, we appreciate you. Bank of America played a crucial role not only here at Ellis Gardens, but across the entire portfolio of rental assistance demonstration properties. Please welcome our longtime friend, Heidi Richerla. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much, Don, for the warm welcome. I truly appreciate it. Thank you to Mayor Breed, Supervisor Haney, all of our residents, friends, community partners who are here with us to celebrate a great occasion. Uh, for those who may not know, Bank of America was founded here in San Francisco in 1904 as the Bank of Italy by the son of Italian immigrants who really wanted to serve immigrants, women, those who were not, uh, who were just the common person and not necessarily the, the financial elite. Fast forward over 100 years and Bank of America is proud to represent over 4,000 teammates, our clients, our community partners here in San Francisco and whether it's iconic moments like financing the Bay Bridge or restoring the ferry building or providing almost 100 residents like Luis and all of the Ellis Garden, Gardens residents uh, with a wonderful new living condition and the well-being that comes with a place that's truly a home, we are so proud to be part of it. And just how important San Francisco is to Bank of America, it's absolutely fitting that out of $4.8 billion, I'm a banker, so I'll talk about money a little bit, um, invested in our community development banking across the entire country, over $2.2 billion is here in San Francisco. And so we are tremendously proud to be included today's celebration. Congratulations again to the entire resident base, our community partners, and of course our friends at TNDC and Glide Community Housing. Thank you all so much for including us. And finally, Gabriel, it's your turn. Move that up a little bit. Uh, thank you, Don, and uh, thank you all for coming. Um, well, uh, you know, my heart is filled with so much gratitude today, <clears throat> but I recognize that I'm the last speaker right before lunch, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> keep it quick. And um, first, I do want to say thank you to the tenants, <clears throat> especially for putting up with construction and relocation. Um, uh, and I'm, uh, well, I do want to say also that today uh, is an open house of sorts, um, but it's not our first open house. Um, when we completed the first floor, the top, the top floor, we actually finished the first unit and we held the apartment open for the tenants to come and take a look. And everything was done. We had it staged pretty modestly, but we put some flowers there, flowers in there, and so forth. And people came up and checked it out. And um, I'll never forget that one of the tenants um, walked into the apartment and said, um, "Is this what you're going to do to my home?" Um, and it was really very moving. And the tenant reactions that day were really great. And I, I wish we had HGTV there to, to capture it because <laughs> I think those reactions are a real reason why many of us. Um, are in this business and do the work that we do. So I'm gonna skip over, if you will, the list of hundreds of people who I wish to thank, um, uh, but I, I, I have so much gratitude for everyone who contributed. I'd also like to thank the dozens or so people uh, who will look after this building here on out and look after the health of the people in it. Um, I'm very proud of what we accomplished together to be here today, and we did so under budget, mind you. And I'm very proud of what we'll continue to accomplish together in the future. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. I want to just offer a few reflections. One is that I hope you will hear from all of us um, just the expression of gratitude. We, we realize we're in a privileged position to be able to do the kind of work that serves others. And I think that's what a lot of us are very motivated by who are in this room. I also want to reflect, oh my gosh, I want to say it was seven years ago, Mayor Breed 
and Ed Lee had a vision, and the vision was so big, it seemed unachievable. I, I forget the 29 properties, $2 billion, and where was that money going to come from, and how was it going to happen? A totally new program that none of us really knew or understood very well. I remember um, the housing director at the time, Olson Lee, yet, telling me five single space pages of exceptions to the rules. Like, this is, this is what it took, and that speaks nothing of all the people and the institutions who are part of it. I really hope you will take the time to not just read, but grasp what's involved with every one of the people, most of you here and everyone on this list, made a real contribution. I hope that you yourselves will feel that you own this, if you will, because TNDC were in this role at the center of the work, but it's other people who are doing the work. I don't even know what it means to own Ellis Gardens. This is a community asset. We're stewards of it. This is going to be affordable housing forever. It's going to serve people with low incomes forever. There's going to be a whole other generation of people here. 40 or 50 years from now, celebrating the next rededication. So it's just a very profound moment. And I, I hope we can all appreciate how important not just is rededication, but renewal. Really grateful to be a part of it. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>